Hey, hey, Spring LaFay, Simply Tarot. And this is going to be a reading for the sign of Sagittarius for August 27th, 2019. I've already pre shuffled. So we are going to cut. Ah! I wanted three. I'll do that over. Okay. Sagittarius. Okay. That is reversed. You know, that's our single card. I'm already getting from this. Somebody's not going to be single for long. <laughs> they're not single anymore. No, they're not single anymore. They're taken. That's why it's reversed. Oh my goodness. I feel that strongly. Okay. Can I get another card for Sagittarius for August 27th? Ten oh, Judgment. Judgment. Ooh. Mm-mm-mm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Can I get another card for Sagittarius? August 27, 2019, please. Can I get another card? Can I get another card? Can I get another card for Sagittarius? This one out. Two thousand uh, August twenty seventh, two thousand nineteen. Can I get another card for the sign of Sagittarius, please? Can I get another card for the sign of Sagittarius, please? Can I get another card for the sign of Sagittarius, please? August twenty seventh, two thousand nineteen, please. Can I get another card? Can I get one more? Okay, that's reversed. Okay. I'm not even feeling like the bottom of the deck's got anything to do with anything. You know, honestly, I feel like I want to take another card. So, yeah. Can I get one more for Sagittarius? Oh. Okay, we got two. We got two. Okay. Just need it to make more sense. What I'm feeling. We got the five of swords here. Four of wands. Oh my goodness. Inside the deck, we got the sun card. Yeah. And that's it. Okay, making a little more sense now. Our nine of pentacles reversed. I feel like this is someone who is no longer single. They have just recently became unsingle. I don't feel like it's by marriage. I, Sagittarius. I feel like this is the starting of a relationship. Just the very starting, you know, of a commitment. Yeah, and then we got we got judgment here. And you know, if you look, okay, pentacles, we got pentacles, we got swords, swords, that's air, the element of air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, swords, swords, wands, that's fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, 
that Leo here, Pentacles, that's Earth, that is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And then, you know, could, it, this could be, you know, with, with your judgment, Cancer you could be dealing with, or Scorpio. Okay. You know, this is known as the Karma card. Yeah, a, a card of karma. I feel like the karma's been fulfilled. It's been fulfilled. Paid in full. I feel progression, and I feel like good news is coming, but I don't know when because, but I feel like it's going to come because of this judgment. I feel like it's more down this way, though, just to be honest. I feel like there's going to be a period of solitude, isolation. That's just what I'm getting. Just, yeah, that's what I'm getting. I'm going to tell you what I'm getting. I have to give the message. I feel, Sagittarius, you are getting enlightenment about a situation or a relationship. It could be this relationship that you just entered into with someone. I feel, um, I feel like the future awaits, though, with this card. I feel not just hoping, you know, like helping yourself. But I feel, Sagittarius, helping others to build solid foundations. I also feel you are helping others by showing them how. That's You're showing them how to build spiritual foundations. Yes, yes. You're spiritual and you're, sh you're showing other people. Maybe through the way you do things. Maybe the way you show things. The way you speak. I feel like that's it. I feel like you're, you're, you're speaking it where they can understand. I also feel new, new plans. New ambitions. Feeling that strong. I've actually got new ambitions myself. But I'm also feeling like wonderful things are beginning. And and that, I mean, that's awesome. That's really awesome. You know, but then we got our Four of Swords here. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Taurus. I'm feeling going into solitude, as I mentioned earlier. Yeah, doing inner reflections, looking at how things are, looking at how things were in the past, comparing, you know, is this different or is this the same? Is this the way it should be or is it the same as it used to be? Is it what I want? Is it what I don't want? Am I getting what I deserve? I just heard that. Yes, yes. And you know, this card also can also mean solid foundation. Yes, it can. I feel you are you're really meditating on something. I feel like it's got to do with our reverse singles card here. Yeah. Our nine of pentacles, I guess I should say. I feel like it's got to do with that relationship. You're meditating on it. I feel, I'm feeling, maybe wondering about the connection. Comparing the way it is. To, yeah, comparison. Are things different? Are things the way you want them to be? Or are they like they used to be in the past? 
Well, are they? That that's the question. You know, no one wants to be stuck in a a repeat of the past. I sure know I don't. I don't want to be stuck in a repeat of my past relationships. No. You know, I also feel like you're working hard for stability and building solid, solid foundations in your relationships. I also hear retreat, retreat. Yes, yes, retreat. You're retreating. That's what I'm getting. You know, the Four of Swords can also mean that some negativity is moving away from your life. With a promise. Now, with a promise. Better to come. With a promise of better to come. Also, I feel like, oh my goodness, I feel like someone's needing rest. Someone's really wore out and they're not even realizing it. They need recovery. Their body is, it's, it's worse than they, they, they're not realizing it. They're not, they're not getting it. I feel like it, it's an illness, some sort of illness. One, one that you do not see till it flares up. Something you don't see till it flares up. Kind of like when you have asthma. You would never know, you know, if someone didn't use their inhaler or if they didn't have an asthma attack, you may not realize it. Well, kind of like I have, I have seizures. I mean, you can look at me and, you, you know, you might not know it. Unless I'm showing symptoms or signs that I'm going to have a seizure. Or when I have a seizure and I can't, you know, breathe and stuff. Yeah, there, there's loads of, loads of illnesses you would never know someone has unless you see it flare up. That's what I'm getting at. Even heart problems, you might not know it until something happens. Someone needs recovery. They need rest. But they can't rest. They're burdened. Someone's burdening them because I don't know. They're they're maybe they're burdening their themselves. Yeah. They're going they're gonna have to yeah, they're burdening themselves because they're they're not understanding this. They're not understanding something about the connection. Something I, I don't. I don't. I'm not sure. It's taking a toll. It's taking a real toll on your body. That's what I'm feeling. I'm getting lack, lack of oxygen. Yes, yes, lack of oxygen. That's why I'm getting lack of oxygen. And stresses, stresses, yes, yes. Yeah. You really, really need to recover. The body and the organs can't take, they cannot take but so much before they, they, they can shut down. It's stop working. Rest, recover. I do feel a lot at the end of the tunnel. I don't... I feel like that's got to do with our... Our non-single card here. I feel like it's got to do with that. A lot at the end of the tunnel. Maybe you're overthinking. Maybe you're, uh, you're overthinking... 
something about your relationship with this person. Sagittarius, are you not going with the flow? Are you in your head? I'm guilty of that. Oh, dang. See, I'm an Aquarius. Well, I'm an Aquarius sun, and then I've got Sagittarius rising and Venus, and I'm guilty of getting in my head, not going with the flow, trying to control things. And I am... I am putting a halt on that. When I catch myself doing that, mm -mm. I have to go with the flow. I mean, certain things you you just can't control them. I mean, you know, the divine if they want, if if it's on their time, you ain't gonna control it. Fuck, you're in your head. You're in your head. You're causing a lot of this on your own self. But the other person. I feel like they're not they're not doing something. They're not giving something. You're giving more. What is it? I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. Dead gummit. You know, the four of swords being next to judgment. I have to mention this, you know. This is a message. This is a message being next to the judgment card. It's a message in itself. Avoid complicated situations. It, you know, it also indicates that you have had a great deal of stress. Stress, yes. Rest and avoid stressful situations. That's what you're being told by these two cards coming out together. For your health's sake. Yeah. Take this as, you know, from the divine telling you, you better, you know, you better cut the stress down. Find your happy spot somehow. Hopefully your person, if they're if they're not doing something, because I feel like they're not doing something, they're... I feel like you're giving more of something. I don't know what this is. I don't I don't know. Maybe it's emotions, maybe it's love, maybe it's I don't know. I don't know. I'm not getting it, but maybe they'll maybe they'll start. I'm But you've got to cut out the stress. This is a warning. And I have to tell it because I'm feeling it. You know, take the, take the situation as a lesson. Whatever situation you and your person's going through, take it as a lesson. A lesson learned. Avoid similar situations in the future. Learn from it. Learn from the lesson. I feel like you, you, you both are having, I feel like there's difficulties of some sort. I feel like there's no communication. I just heard that. Just no communication. Yes, yes. I, oh. Okay, we, we got our Eight of Swords here. You know, it's reversed. It's reversed. Maybe dealing with Capricorn. Or you may have it in your chart, or they may have it in their chart. I have to say, this can be a warning too. Another warning. Another warning card, Sagittarius. Oh my goodness. Of mishaps, accidents. Both in around the house, the home, as well as out on the roads. I'm feeling that really strong. If you drive. I've, oh my goodness. Be very careful when you drive. Be very careful. That's what I'm feeling. Be very, very careful. I've... I've Yes, I feel it, especially driving. Watch other drivers. Yeah, like when you're coming up on a red light, like a green light, to go through it, don't just bam through it, rush through it. Don't do that. Go, up, you know, go a little slower so you can watch both ways because something might come. A vehicle may come, you never know, and hit you or something. Just be beware of, you know, the road. Watch what you're doing. No 
gazing or messing with a cell phone or anything like that, Sagittarius. You know, I also feel like the card is saying a new beginning, though. A new start can now be made. It can, it can now be done. This is number eight card. This is the no, that's the number of karma. We've done talked about karma. You know, then we got here. We've got our five of swords. You know, I'm feeling with the, I'm I'm feeling strongly with this card that. Someone is actually, like, I don't want to say fighting off, but that's what I feel like, someone. But you see how they've retreated. They've thrown down their swords and they're, they're walking away, and he looks like he's happy. He's, he's happy. He, he has accomplished something. I feel like this is your person. What have they accomplished? You know, th this can be a card of, like, feeling like there's competition. Not sure if that's what it is. Hmm. But, we got the Four of Wands. For me, I'm feeling new beginning. So, I, I feel like you and this person, I feel like this is, this has got a chance, you see. See, this is, this is like past. This is like now. This is future. And future, and future so on. But I feel like this is new beginning. This is happiness. The joining. A union. You know, it doesn't, that does not mean marriage. That, that can be where a commitment, you know, may go higher. Like, um, say your boyfriend and girlfriend and you decide to move in together. Something like that. Um, or you decide to put it on social, you know, put it a status. Yeah, moving the commitment up. But then you got the sun card. This is, this is total happiness. The yes card. Yes, 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 yes card. See how happy the sun brightens everything. It warms the day. I'm drawn to the flowers. Growth. This relationship is growing. It, it's seeing growth now. Where it was once stagnant, something was stagnant with it. Something was wrong. Now it's growing. Oh my goodness. There's beauty. But please, do take heed. You're tired, you're wore out, you're stressed. There's some someone one of someone I don't know that I don't know if it's more than one or if it's just one but some uh, not Aquarius oh I was supposed to mean I guess I was meant to say that but maybe maybe it's an Aquarius that's got Sagittarius in their chart oh my goodness that could be it like I'm an Aquarius and I've got Sagittarius in my chart and that could be it but Sagittarius take heed you're wore out. Whoever you are, you're wore out, you're tired, and you're not even realizing it. You're not realizing it. You're not sleeping. You're sleeping very little. I feel it. You see, that looks like pure rest. You're not getting that. Something, there's too much, too much weight on you. you there's too much stress. And I don't, I don't, I don't think it's all from this relationship. I think there's more. Maybe it's home life because I know you're you're working towards stability. That's it. You're that's it. You're you're having worries other than just this relationship. There's more on you. There's more more burden in you. 
that's what I'm getting. That's it. You know, I don't know who this is for. I hope that whoever it's for, they see it. And um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. That'll help YouTube move it on. So that whatever Sagittarius this is for, whether, you know, whether it's Sun Sign Sagittarius or Moon Rising and Venus Sagittarius, this is for someone. They need to see it. They need to hear these messages quickly. Yeah, they do. Whoever it is. And if this doesn't resonate, don't take it. Don't try to make it fit. No, no. Don't, don't dare try to make this fit at all. You should be able to hear this message and know if they, this is you. Never take something that's not for you. That's not going to help. Check your birth chart. Check your birth chart because you never know what signs are in there. Like me. I'm an Aquarius. But I have a Sagittarius rising and a Sagittarius Venus. I've got a load of Sagittarius in me and I've got a load of Aquarius in me. I've got very I've got very little else in me. It's in my sign. You know, my signs in my in my birth chart, my zodiac. Um it's mainly mainly Sagittarius and Aquarius. So uh, you never know. You know, you can go through life thinking, well, well why don't that reading ever hit me? You know, I'm 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 a Sagittarius. Well, Maybe you don't, you know, you need to check your birth charts because you've got too much of other stuff in you. And you're hitting on another reading. Like sometimes you can look at another reading and think, dang, that sounds just like me. But, oh, I'm not that, I'm not, you know, say a Cancer or a, a Pisces. Well, maybe you have got it in your chart. That's why you should check your birth chart. And you can do that free online. But if you like the videos and you want to see more tarot reading, subscribe. Hit that little bell. That will notify you every time I upload. Thinking about starting to do some lives later on. Maybe see if I can pick up on the viewers' energies and get messages that way. But thanks for watching and bye. Remember, Sagittarius. Rest, be careful driving, and around the house.